boom what's up everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be talking about pre-flight and post-flight <laughs> Okay, it is 5.53 a.m. Wake up, get out of bed, load my car, and go fly. So this is how I carry my motor. Pretty basic. Four clamps, two retractable straps. Set. guys welcome back to my channel so today we are in Lancaster right now I'm gonna go for a quick flight I'm gonna go above the water it's not a river I forgot how it's called but anyway I'm gonna go fly over there so what are my pre flights when I go fly let's just go over it right now and then uh, hopefully it can help you out all right so first and most I have my engine that is trapped on this towing hitch right here that has been made by one of my friends so anyway uh, first thing first what I do it's always I come remove the cover right here I just make sure it pops out boom Quick check, uh, I move everything right here, see if there's no play, if it's not like shaky, if there's no rattle. Uh, I, I check the belt tension quick, so I just press right here and twist a little bit, make sure it's not too like wiggly, make sure it's tight right here, spark plug. I check my exhaust spring right here, make sure they're all set, fuel cap is on, the netting is tight, my bolts are right here. So on each bolt, I don't know if you can see, so you see there's like a little mark, the little paint that I put on it, and I know if it has moved or not. Uh, so anyway, I check all my bolts right here, make sure it's all set. There's tension on the starter rope. This is not tangled right here. The harness, same thing. I check, make sure it's not stuck or tangled. Make sure it's all free to move right here. Leg strap right here are good to go. Straps right here are good to go. Same here, nothing is tangled up or here nothing is tangled so i make sure this is all set on the exhaust right here make sure everything is sturdy it's not moving the bolts are set right here so you see i have my little hold on let me try to focus little marks right here i make sure this is still aligned my holes are tight uh, i still have to prime you see they're still good right here right here right here up fuel cap Everything is tight. This is the first part of the inspection. Then I'm gonna prime my engine. I'm gonna start it, let it warm up for a little bit. And then I'm gonna remove it from the rack, set it up, lay out my wing and then go and take off. So that's for the pre-flight. Let me know if I forget anything. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Obviously before I start, I'm gonna check my cable, my throttle cable. Make sure it's it's moving freely, but that's about it. So let me know if I forget anything. And if I do, I definitely want to know. Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, let me finish setting up and then we'll go for a flight. All right, let me prime the engine quick and start it. Wow. Remove the motor from its mount. I always like to kick the dirt. Oh, hell no, bro. The wing completely shifted. Nice. I'm gonna reset my wing. Let me check the wing one more time. I mean, it is definitely completely shifted. All right, let's get going. Before I shift again, because I'll lose my mind if I shift again. So I feel like I could possibly outrun this, but I'm gonna take my time.
All right, I just landed. The landing was kind of sketchy because new wind, but it's getting thermally, so it was like freaking bumpy. I was stepping in the grass, and I was like, I stepped something and like went through my shoe. Check this out. Can you see that? It's like on the inside. Ouch. Anyway, let me just pack my wing, then I'll do a post-flight check. I'll show you what's up. I'm gonna check my engine and my paramotor after my flight that I just finished. What I like to do every time after a flight normally, if I'm pretty empty, I like to refuel so it's set and if I can empty my gas can, uh, great. And if not, the bottom one. And then make sure I clean around the cap. One time there's dust and dirt. All right, so the engine is cooled down right now so I can go ahead and touch it. What I like to go over is to check if there's any leak any major leak and so you see I go by the carb I looked around the carb the exhaust I check my exhaust spring right here check my prop check my belt check my plug boot right here make sure it's still on in place that's pretty much it you know then I'll hook it back on the carrier and I'm out That's all strapped in right here. So there's one strap that comes from the bottom right here. It goes all up and around within the frame right here. It comes on the other side and right here on the hook. And then same on this one that comes right here in the front, goes in the frame and comes from the back right here. And then I put my leg strap on top just like that. And I'm all set. And that's it. See you guys home. So that's it for my pre-flight and post-flight check. So obviously in this video, I tried to make it as quick as possible. There's many other elements that I will check uh, every like two or three hours of flight or every couple of flights. This is just the bare minimum that I do at each flight. You know, I check the webbing for the harness. I check the torque on the prop, on the belt, on many other parts of the paramotor. I check the frame and the welding, see if there's no crack or stuff like that. I do maintenance on the engine. All this stuff obviously comes after. It doesn't come as often as every flight, but for the quick recap of what I you for each fight that's what it is in the video again if i forget anything that is really important you can go ahead and let me know i feel like i didn't forget anything but yeah that's about it that's all for this video i know i insist but if you like the video and if you like the channel please consider subscribing turn the notification bell on so you know when the new video is out let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestion any comment about this video or about new video that i could make i'm gonna be making a review about my new wing that i just received as a custom cubic 21 meter custom color and custom logo. So I'm super, super stoked about it. And don't forget to leave it a thumbs up if you like the video. Anyway, again, thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you guys on the next one and don't forget to stay bad.